Welcome to the Molly Fool's Crunch Time series, where we scout out a single company from the story to the opportunities and risks. Time to talk Lemonade. I'll start with my prediction. I think Lemonade will outperform the market over the next five years. But of all the stocks I've covered so far on Crunch Time, it's the one that I could be the most wrong about. Let's start with business strategy. Lemonade's go-to-market strategy is to attract the generation of customers to insurance early in their financial lives. You can apply online or through the app in minutes and get an answer in seconds in many cases. Next, it's built a business model that breaks the traditional incentives that create friction for customers that file claims, approving most claims in less than a minute. 97% of policies are sold through bots and 55% of claims are automated and never have to be touched by a person. The use of AI across its enterprise is built to speed up the process and drive out costs, making a better experience for employees, customers happier, and more loyal. The evidence says it's working too. 75% of its customers are under 35, so we see the focus on young insurance buyers is paying off. Okay, let's talk about the growth opportunity. With under $900 million in insured premium, Lemonade is a small fish in a massive ocean, and it just announced last week its plan to more than 10x enforced premium to $10 billion within a few years' time. Now, for context, it would still be less than one-third the size of auto insurance giant Progressive. There's a couple of big risks, the first being good at pricing insurance policies. This is something Lemonade had struggled with for most of its time as a public company. We just saw some recent big success. We need to see it prove that recent success is a long-term trend, not just rising positive industry tailwind. If the company can't continue writing profitable policies, nothing else really matters. Second, execution on its growth strategy. It has spent a lot of money on customer acquisition, ramping that up to continue growing at a high rate. And the growth strategy and that 10X plan requires that to continue for coming years. It must continue winning a large number of customers to reach profitability at scale. And if its growing ambitions don't pan out, it will prove to have been an expensive failure. My prediction, Lemonade stock has already gained more than 150% since it reported earnings in late October. So it would be easy to take the under here. But if the company can come anywhere close to its ambitious growth goals over the next five years, it could still be a massive winner. I think they've solved their biggest problems and they're seizing the opportunity. I think Lemonade will beat the market from here. At The Motley Fool, your comments make us smarter. Please comment with your own research and insights about Lemonade and tell us what stock you want to see us tackle next. Go to fool.com forward slash invest. You can receive the top 10 best stocks to buy now.